What's going on YouTube? GSN right here. So in today's video we have news about the Chimera jailbreak for iOS 12.0 up to 12.1.2 for all the devices including the A12 devices with tweaks. A new version has been released and it was really really necessary. Now you probably remember that I made a video yesterday about the Chimera jailbreak which has been unexpectedly released by the Electra team. This is basically the Electra for the iOS 12 but with a new name and I can understand the new naming convention especially since the Electra name has been tarnished to heck and beyond. But anyways, there is a new version available, it's 1.0.2 and the Electra team posted in here quote, Chimera 1.0.2 is now available. This fixes issues with A12X, iPad Pros failing to jailbreak. The other devices do not need to update. Now we're also going to talk in this video whether you should basically use the Chimera jailbreak or you should update to it or you should switch to it from another jailbreak, so stay tuned. Now, as you probably know, the Chimera jailbreak was basically rebuilt by the Electra team. But anyways, yes, it's a new jailbreak. I talked about it in my previous video. It comes with Cilio and not with Cydia. And this is where things start to get complicated. See, the very first release contained quite a lot of bugs. I made a list here on Twitter. And after it was posted, I tried it and posted on Twitter the experience I had with Chimera and the bugs that I was experiencing and stuff like that. And there were quite a few. There are a few good lists in here, at least nine or 10 bugs that I could find in like, I don't know, 30 minutes of testing on various devices. Now, these are not major bugs. You can see here that I posted here on my Twitter that there are bugs consisting in either Cilio not showing up or the um, Chimera application being stuck in a black screen after step two or it gets downright stuck at a step one or various other things like this. The preference loader not working. For example, tweaks wouldn't work in settings. Now, most of this should have been fixed in the newer versions, but it's very important to keep in mind that there were bugs. Now, some people like to believe that the Chimera jailbreak is really what it claims to be in here, you know, completely stable and no crashing and no whatever. It isn't. Any jailbreak has bugs and you cannot really 100% test everything for every single device. Now I do jailbreak development myself. I build the Osiris jailbreak and I know how hard can it be for a jailbreak developer to test for every single possible scenario that may happen on a user's device. So yeah, bugs will definitely be present in there. But as far as I'm concerned and as far as I know and I tested, there weren't any boot loops, at least not boot loops caused by the Chimera itself. So all the bugs that I talked about in here on my list are likely already fixed or will be fixed in the foreseeable future. However, there are other problems with this product. See, the Electra team also updated the Electra tool for the iOS 11 after the uh, Chimera has been released and there is a problem with that. They do a rather sketchy thing. For example, you probably know that on the Electra for iOS 11 you have Cydia. You can also install Cilio and that's that, but you have Cydia and you can use it and if you want to use Cydia there is no problem with that. Well, the latest update they pushed yesterday basically removes Cydia without your consent from your device. And when you jailbreak again after you update the Electra on iOS 11, you're no longer going to have Cydia. And if you try to install it again, it will be uninstalled when you jailbreak again. So yeah, a rather shady thing to do, especially since this hasn't been announced, at least not to my knowledge. Now I do understand that they're trying to push their product over Cydia. Their Cilio package manager is basically a competitor to Cydia, which I do believe is actually quite good. But removing something from user's devices without their consent is definitely not right. So yeah, I can understand why they want to move forward with Cilio rather than trying to support Cydia, which is already very old. But just uninstalling it without people's consent or at least with a warning before is just not good. And another thing is the fact that the uh, Chimera jailbreak doesn't have Cydia. It can be installed, however, there are some packages in here. For example, from repo.pixelarmor.com, you can install a version of Cydia that works with the Chimera jailbreak, but I wouldn't recommend it at this moment, especially since this is not an official method. This is like a hacked up version, hacked up method, which is not supported by the Chimera team or the Electra team. So yeah, you're not going to get support if anything goes wrong outside of the developer who did this. So you may want to keep that in mind. But yeah, if you want to test Cydia installer on the Chimera jailbreak, you can do so. There is this in here. I'm going to put a repo in the description down below. So yeah, the general conclusions. Should you use the Chimera jailbreak? Should you switch? Yes, in my opinion, if you want to use it, you can do so. It's a very stable jailbreak, at least in my opinion, and even though there were bugs, they seem to have been fixed and more packages have been updated. 
Now, I'm not the type of guy to basically recommend you to use Uncovered just because Panel to Own is my friend or stuff like that. I'd rather be totally unbiased on this channel and if there is another jailbreak that is at least as good, then I'm going to recommend that as well. So no, you don't have to stick with Uncovered if you don't want it, you can just switch around and 99% of the time nothing bad will happen. Now you may experience bugs but these are normal, especially since this is a new product so bugs may slip in. So yeah, if you want to use Chimera there is nothing wrong with it apart from some bugs that seem to be fixed as we speak. And also you should keep in mind that it doesn't come by default with Cydia, so if you expected that, it's not the case. You're going to have to cope with Cilio, which may not be as bad as it sounds. So yeah, thank you for watching, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated, I am Geosnow and till the next time, peace out.